This is your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. Listen, today we have a new product that I want to tell you guys about Table Plus. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. This is actually a pretty legit product. Um, I have nothing to do with this company. This is not a company that's paying me or, or reaching out to me to like, hey, promote my product. I actually found this online. I, I think it was like Product Hunt or... One of those websites that I, I freaking find stuff. And I tried it out. I tried it for like a good month and a half. And to be honest with you guys, I'm actually sw I'm switching from SQL Pro to Table Plus. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Number one, you can come here and use Table Plus with any type of relational database. If I come here and show you the program and I say, hey, I want to a new connection i could connect to postgres sql my sql microsoft or sql you could connect to sqlite you could connect to redis so you pretty much have access to every single one that's out there it's very rare that one program can actually do this because most most of the time is they usually target like one specific niche like let's say if they create a a program for postgres they don't have my sql on it and they definitely do not have sql light so this is pretty legit especially for you guys that are doing uh php my sql or doing ruby on rails my sql with postgres or you know you might bump into a company where they're using redis like guys this is the best one that i found so far because it just gives you access to all of them instead of you having to connect to different programs like i, I used to have the sql pro and I had what else I had in here? Oh yeah, PSQL, which is for like for Postgres, and it's really annoying, man. <laughs> you know, because it's like you gotta use one for Postgres, one for MySQL, one for SQLite. It's like, and for you guys that want to do like .NET, and it's like, hey man, now I gotta do it for Microsoft SQL Server. Like, nah, man, just download one program and you good. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this right now. This is right now, currently I'm working on the Ruby on Rails course, right? And I'm going to give you guys a little preview. Let's say I wanted to come here and I wanted to do something like this. I'll say uh, Rails generate scaffold, right? Generate scaffold. And I'll say this scaffold is going to have a title and a description. But the name of it is going to be let's say articles okay articles and i'm gonna say title it has a title and it's gonna be a string and description which is going to be let's say text okay i do that rails automatically generates all the files for me okay now i can come here and say rake db migrate and automatically rails goes and runs the migration for me and now i have access to my article so i could just literally literally just go to here and say local host 3000 uh, let's say articles go in there and now i can come here put in the title um my first post description this is where my long blog post goes and we create the article. So all of this stuff is already done with Ruby on Rails. Like the migration is done. The pages, as you guys can see, is done. The forms is already done. Everything is already done. Okay. That's why I love Ruby on Rails. Like I could be super productive like that. Okay. So now I can come here to this table plus and i'm gonna delete this connection all right so i'm gonna connect it to a sqlite database and that's what comes with ruby on rails automatically that's your default if you don't put in anything like mysql or postgres or redis automatically it's gonna go to sqlite and sqlite is just really like a file 
okay so you pretty much are saving all of your data inside of one single file instead of doing it how mysql does it okay so this is great for whenever you're gonna create something like you know a small application you're like okay i want to have everything inside of this this server i don't want to have to go outside and connect to another server or anything or like i'm working something in development and i don't want to set up my my database everything is already there for you it's just one single file so that's what sqlite is good for so we're going to click on sqlite literally i'm going to change the color you know me my favorite color <laughs> it's that purple man okay uh let's see change the color put in uh ruby articles okay select database and then now all i have to do is just go to my projects go to first app and this is my folder for the whole ruby on rails project that we're working on and we go into a folder called db which is database inside of there you have a development dot sqlite 3 and you double click that and now you connect to it and that's it that's your database okay all of your tables are there the articles is there your schema migration is there your sqlite stuff is there if you want to come here and run um sql statements you could do it you want to come here and switch between the databases you know you got development you got test um what else you know there's other plugins that you can add later on if you want there's like a whole bunch of stuff and what's cool about this too is that i believe in the next uh, few weeks they're coming out with a new update which is gonna let you connect to an external um an external connection so i don't know right now currently I'm pretty sure you can't connect to outside. Um, like, let's say you want to connect to a URL or something like that, something out there. I haven't really tried it yet, that part, but this is great for your local environment, okay? I'm pretty sure they have a whole bunch of different features that I haven't even checked out. I'm just being honest with you guys. But so far, like, I'm loving it because there's, like, so much. Yeah, I guess you can connect to... Uh, external um, servers and like let's say if you have something on AWS or how you call this digital ocean you can connect to it I haven't done it yet but from what I'm seeing here you can all right so this is pretty cool you can actually put in like different things it will show you um, you know different icons if, if the person is writing with emojis so it's, it's pretty legit it's a powerful SQL editor. You could have dark mode. You could customize it however you want. Now, currently, I believe it's working on Mac. I don't know if this is because I'm on Mac that it doesn't let me get in uh, for the Windows side. But for Macs, it, everything runs perfectly. I'm guessing that they're still working on the Windows. You guys let me know. You guys that have Windows computers, see if the link works for you guys. Um, but if you have a Mac, man, this is the way to go, man. Especially if you're going to be working with MySQL or any type of, you know, SQL database out there, any type of relational database. And it's pretty legit. Now it's free to upgrade, right? If you want to come in and say, Hey, I want to come in and, and have like, you know, a million different connections, then you're going to have to pay for the whole the whole happy plan right but guys for you guys that are creating something on your own you're creating you know i don't know a database you connect into a database like you don't need to have thirty thousand connections like all you need is just one connection to your mysql and one connection to your sqlite or whatever it is right whatever you decide postgres or or redis whatever which one you want right you don't need a million different things so the free version is fine. I have the free version and I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, am I going to sign up for the $50 plan? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I got to see what what else they're going to add for me to be able to pay $50. You know? Because I usually just use it for like one or two con connections. I don't need, you know, I'm not running like a, a business 
<laughs> I'm not running a business out of my laptop, like straight up. <laughs> I don't need to have, you know, connections to million different uh, databases. Because if anything, all I have to do is just come here. If I need to connect to another database, I'm like, man, I don't have no more space to connect to another database. I just delete this one and connect to it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind doing that. I don't need to have it saved here. You know what I mean? So that's fine, you know? So let me do this right now. Connect to it. Uh, Ruby on Rails and connect. That's it. It's that simple, pretty easy. I could come here, add different articles, and, you know, just say, uh, what up? <laughs> Swag. <laughs> and let's see. And that's about it, man. You know, it's like there's so many different things that you could do to this, man. Like this is pretty legit. You click there. How many rows are affected? Click go. And that's it. It's already in. Okay, so as you guys can see, just download it, play around with it. If you have a Mac, this is the way to go, guys. Windows, I'm pretty sure they're going to release it pretty soon because, hey, Windows is the majority of people, so I know they're going to release a, a new version pretty soon. Okay, but yeah, man, stay tuned. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Guys, go visit my website. That's the best way to support the channel, the best way to you know, show love. And at the same time, it's like I come in here. It's not begging you guys to like, hey, man, subscribe. It's like I'm actually busting my ass, working hard to give you guys really good content, really good courses, stuff that you're going to need as your your career as a developer blossoms. You're always going to have good content here, and especially on the website. All right. So if you're looking to learn the Ruby on Rails, go check it out. We are working on that right now. Take the Ruby course, you know, sign up for the freaking subscription. You know, it's like if you click on the link below, it's 50% off. You can't go wrong. It's like $10 a month. Guys, you're not going to go wrong with this thing, man. Trust me. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Wow.